since uh, 2019 and until the end of this year, we have been in for quite a ride with a lot of ups and downs, but there has constantly been this movement, let's say it like that, like governmental movement, matrix moving, whatever. 2024 is a transition year. We are transcending from this phase into a new phase. When I look into the year, the year feels kind of like an open platform. So it's a space where people easily lose groundation. And that is one of the reasons why it's so important that we focus more on physical health and family bond and uh, communities. So everything that we can do physically is going to be uh, important for us in 2024. Another thing is that <clears throat> some of the things that we've been doing the last three years, the government is still going to play it out. We still have some uh, wars that's going to do their outplays. We still have some influences uh, with the AI and the <laughs> electronic devices and etc. This is going to escalate in 2024. So therefore, uh, once again, <laughs> it's so important that we focus on things in the physical world, that we focus on human values and we focus on the time that we spend together and we focus on looking inside so that the world doesn't run us but we live in the world. Last year uh, prediction I talked a lot about that people were still gonna die and we were still facing more sorrow and stuff like that and as we can see up to the end of this year there's been a lot of that especially doing to um, the wars and things. What I really love is that people become more and more conscious of what we have fed contra what is actually happening and going on. So in 2024 is also a year where people become more aware of themselves, but also the world that we perceive as reality. So <laughs> as we enter this open space, how we perceive reality will change. And this for some people can uh, become scary and therefore once again it's so important to ground because whenever you lose groundation remember whatever you can touch in the physical world here and now so right now we are like for example in the forest feeling the nature touching the ground everything that make you feel connected to the three-dimensional world um, but <laughs> with every change always comes the heavy parts but there also also comes the light parts so when we enter a space that um, allow us to perceive reality in a new form um, it also allows us to use our cre creativity to change the things in our life that no longer serve us it is a year where we are able to step out of our old cocoon and start working our way towards what we truly are here to, to be and desire to share as a part of ourselves. 2024 is not the year where we are supposed to be finished with that at all, <laughs> because it is this open platform and the open platform can be beautiful, but it can also be chaotic. So it will shake up uh, people in different ways, different forms, but not in the same heavy way as it has been doing the last three years. It will um, show different. What is so, so important to also mention is like no matter how much chaos there's going on in the world or no matter how much mm, we are feeded fear or darkness or whatever, the highest vibration is always love. And the highest vibration is always forgiveness, joy, happiness. So as more as you can focus on those values in your life without being in denial of everything else, as better a life you can create for yourself, your family, and those in your community, those around you. Um, what more is there to say? Yes, As we enter 2024, be open-minded, but be aware. Be ready to change, but still also hold on to your routines and things in your daily life that is healthy for you, your body and your soul. I'm personally excited about this year 
because for me it's like an open unwritten book which is not true because I just said a lot of blah blah but in the sense that every time we enter an open space there is room for so much creation so I don't know about you guys but I am looking forward to see what 2024 I have to offer for better and for worse and the most important part is for us to stay and stick together heart to heart <laughs> And with an open heart and an open mind. Thank you.